The Legends of Guam The Legend of the Mosquitoes One day, the son of a chief from Talafotfu wanted to marry a young Chamorro girl who was the daughter of the chief from Tamuning. When the couple received the consent from their parents, they agreed to marry. They planned a great fandango to celebrate the marriage and to honor the new relationship between the two great chiefs. As was the custom, the young newlyweds lived in the village of Talafofu, the, na the home of the bridegroom. They were very happy indeed and loved one another dearly. One day, without apparent cause, the young bride died unexpectedly. Because of his undying love for his wife, the husband kept her body by his side and wept day after day. Although his fellow villagers of Talafofu asked the young man to bury his wife, he kept her and continued to weep day and night. After a while, he built a raft from the dokduk tree and put his wife's body on the raft and started out to sea. The young Chamorro boy stayed with the raft for many days. A Tata Mona appeared. He said to the Chamorro, I can bring your wife back to life. In order to do this, I need a pin made of bamboo. The Chamorro boy made a pin of bamboo and gave it to the Tata Mona. The Tata Mona then struck the boy's finger with the pin and blood dripped onto the body of his dead wife. Blood flowed into her body and behold, his wife came back to life. The couple decided to stay at sea and to live happily together. They lived from the sea and were quite happy for some time. Soon the husband, tiring of seafood, decided to go ashore to get some fresh fruit to eat. He swam to shore. On his return with the fruit, he saw his wife standing on the raft with another man. She told him that she was going away with the other man, and off she went. The enraged husband knew that he would have to kill her for betraying him. Then the next day came. He went in search of his wife. When he found her near the river, he stuck her with a bamboo pin. Her blood flowed into the water of the river and she disappeared. As her blood emptied into the ocean, it turned into mosquito larva. Today, when a mosquito bites people, it is sucking blood with its long proboscis, trying to get back enough blood to become the beautiful bride which once lived on Guam. The legend of why the iguana has a double tongue. Many, many years ago, in a deep and dark cave in the dense jungle of Guam, there lived an iguana. This iguana's mother was very proud of him. After all, he was a very strong and handsome iguana. After many months of motherly care and teaching, he was allowed to go into the jungle to look for some bird eggs, a great delicacy for any iguana. While the young iguana was walking in the jungle one day, he heard the voice of a mockingbird and said, Hello, where are you? The mockingbird, however, flew away without answering. With that disappointment, the young, handsome iguana continued on his merry way deeper into the jungle. It wasn't long before he met the bird known as the rail. After becoming friends, the iguana and the rail thought that what they needed was more color on their skin. They both decided that the rail would paint the iguana first. When the rail had finished painting the iguana with some bright new colors, the iguana was very pleased with his new appearance. He sang loud and long in his very melodious voice. The iguana then took the same paintbrush that he was painted with and splattered the rail with spots. Becoming very angry, the rail said, Because of this trick that you have played on me, your very pretty voice will become harsh and ugly. 
the rail pursued the iguana and struck him on the tongue, causing it to split into two parts. This is why the iguana, to this very day, has a forked tongue and the rail has spots all over his body. Ikarabao Kipang in Christmas. Esta tiopmam Christmas, zaifa maguun para uha fatina si bilen. Malago si Lolita ha aduda si Manuel dan si Jose. Malago loqui si Tomas dan si Nani manaduda. Matuta at luguatu si Nani da umagang potlu loqui esti igat hu karabao gibilen. In epi si nani as Jose, munga ma potlu karabao guini, tada na hulii karabao ma potlu gibilen. Manyalik todus da gofti maguf si nani. Half a nanny na tomatang is how, finais and sinani as nana. Manyalik dat lui famagun, posi lekna si lolita. Malago sinani na upot lui karabagi bilen. Tada nana na ma pot lui karabagi bilen. Tada, man finais and as nana. Fan matatang da bisangani hams upuri karabagi pangini Christmas. Humana si Maria dan si Jose guatu gita bilen. Gov mega na tata esta man matu guatu. Tada guma an aisinia sumaga idos, pos masota un sagan gaga para sagan nia. Ai a de Maria, ilegna si Jose. Gov dada sa esta. Ti gov maulik sumaga guini. Inepi si Jose as Maria. Tada guaha Jose, maulika esti. Menzatas loqui gagasia, loti man mamai go. Hati esti dos natauta, mamai sin iguaca. Za hafana matu magi dos, mamai sin loqui ikabazu. Equatiu tungu ilegne carabao, lo baiket tungu hati sia. Da si Jose ha potlu isakati gisaga ni nenkanu gaga in azuda as Maria. Aduna poengi ma fanyagu gisaga gaga in ninyu Jesus. Man mata guatu i pastores da mana i gatnya kinilu in ninyu Jesus. Man mata loku i angit siha da makantadi in ninyu Jesus. I gaga siha Man mana atan ha nihita li hafa guaha ilak nyai kabadzu. Bunitu ilak nyai guaka, mampus bunitu ilak nyai karabao. Eka ha ilak nyai kinilu, mampus ageng hao za mamai gui neni. Lo i karabao tumu eka ha. Da ilegna, bai kanta mas aggang gi kanta ni angit siya. Da umesala gui aggagang. Ai, zi na ui ninyu da tumangis. Ha tuli si ose un panyalis da humana guatu gi karabao. Dispensa du karabao, ilegna si ose, bai got di hao sa un ekeha umaggang. Ti sinya maigu i ninyu. Za si Jose ha godi i agaga i karabao ni panyalas. Pumara tumanga si ninyu, za pues maigu. Esta i karabao ti sinya aggang. Nga, nga, kumati i karabao. Gof ekeha esti nakati gini ni dankulu na karabao. Pumara tumanga si ninyu. 
Ajana kwaha apaka gia gaga toru karabao siha ni huli i ilek nyasim Manuel. Tata, ko ginen i ginet din hose adzuni panales? Hungan, ena lokwi hasangani zu sina nahu enai dikikizu ilek nyasi tata. Nihi neni tata potlu i gatmu karabao gibilen ilek nyasi tata. Gof mag of sineni, da hasangani i karabao, adahi karabao sa mamai gui ninyu, adahi na unzau. Bonito i bilen potgu ilek nyasi tata. Nihi toras tata fanganta. Fan ma to man hangi Fatai me na go fan ma to fan ma to gita be